Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, yep, we've got another crazy Canadian lady video. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so as you know, last night she uploaded that 10 minute long video where she was threatening to unalive Villain and I. And while Villain, or after Villain had called the this lady's local PD, um, she, I guess like an hour after, she had deleted the 10 minute video that I had already covered. And she uploaded another video. I'm not sure if uh, her, the local Mounties went and talked to her. I, ha I have no clue, but it was taken down and she put up a different one. So we're going to go through that right now. I haven't seen the whole thing. I think I've only seen the first two minutes. So I'm going to watch with you guys. Hopefully there's no surprises like with Lisa malfunctioning earlier today. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, and I'm also going to add two emails that she has sent to villain like i said villain's been getting these emails for an entire month now and she hasn't responded to anything she has blocked her twice on tiktok and she doesn't respond to any of the emails but yeah uh this lady just keeps emailing her she keeps saying she's not racist it's slander that we're calling her racist i've already shown proof that she's racist but wait till you see the second email email that i'm gonna um post for you guys because wow even if I hadn't already shown proof that she's racist, this email alone will show it 100%. So, let me shut my pie hole. Let's get into this video. Yeah, hi. Hi. All I want to say is that um, if this doesn't stop, And this harassment towards me and this bullying towards me doesn't stop. I will proceed with legal action against the parties that are concerned. Oh, is that right? <laughs> so what are you going to say? Are you going to be honest and just be like, look, I saw these two on TikTok, so I decided to go into their comment section and talk crap about them, call them names, uh, tell them they, they'll never be loved, and then brag about some imaginary blow-up doll boyfriend of mine, and then spend months harassing and following this per one person all over TikTok, and then latch on to the other person and email her every single day for an entire month, even though she's blocked me twice on TikTok and won't respond to any of my emails. Oh, and that the first one also blocked me on TikTok. Is that what you're going to tell them? And that we finally decided to just cover you so that everybody on social media will know how horrible of a person you are? Okay, well, let me know how that works out. Okay. Um, because this is extreme bullying and it's very abusive and it's caused by jealousy. Okay. Now, see, what would be extreme bullying would be like this person named Natasha. Natasha who has come at me and now villain like me for the last three months and now you with villain extreme bullying would be you emailing villain excessively for the last month even though she has not responded to your emails you consistently still email her extreme bullying would be going around and attacking people that you don't even know in comments section telling them that they're unloved and that you want them to be unalive extreme bullying would be making a 10 minute video at the end of that spending almost five minutes explaining how you want to unalive myself and villain and that you could unalive us See, that would be extreme bullying. Abuse would also fall under that. And as far as the jealousy, not even close, ladies. 
Like you literally have nothing to be jealous of. Nothing. Not even good old Charlie. And that's all that I'm going to say about that. Well, since this video is over seven minutes long, I seriously doubt that that's all you're going to say about any of this. You keep saying that and then you go on and on and on for minutes, up to 10 minutes, now up to seven and a half minutes. And all you're doing is, well, just babbling at this point. You people are extremely jealous of me. You're bullying me. And I am taking legal action against you. Oh, goody. Because if this ever was to go to court, which it won't, um, I'm going to love watching the judge rip you a new asshole and laugh your butt right out of court, lady. Because that's exactly what will happen. And that's all that I'm going to say. But wait, you just said that was all you were going to say a minute ago or a minute and a half ago. And then you said it again. And now you're saying that's all you're going to say about it again. But yet there's still five and a half minutes left of this video. So clearly you're just going to keep being repetitive. So you better stop. Okay. Well, considering you just sent villain two more emails harassing and bullying her. I will stop after you have gone away and stop harassing and bullying my friend. Thank you. See, do you know why I laugh at you, Natasha? Because you are a joke, okay? You are the definition of a joke. You cannot sit here, threaten to, uh, threaten to sh put out a lawsuit on us for bullying and harassment and abuse while you and then turn around and send two more bullying and harassing emails to one of the said parties it doesn't work that way see what i'm talking about here is where the judge is going to laugh you out of court that will be one major reason why better stop and i mean it you better stop and that's all that i'm going to say <laughs> that's now the third time you have said, and that's all I'm going to say. But I guarantee you're going to start up again. And then you're probably going to say, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm sorry you've got jealousy issues against me. I'm sorry you've got no love in your life. I'm sorry you're poor. I'm sorry you're in welfare. I'm sorry you're a loser. But that's not my problem. Oh, I'm sorry that you have zero clue on what you're talking about and you failed on everything you just said. I'm, I guess I'm also sorry, at least for a human being, that you're a racist and you're a xenophobe and you're homophobic and you clearly live a miserable, sad, pathetic life. I am, I guess I'm sorry as a human that, uh, well... You are the one that actually that obviously is not loved. I mean, your your own daughter won't let you know the name of your grandson. And she won't let you meet her husband. And they've pretty much locked you 100% out of their lives because you are vile and a danger to society. That you're a drug addict loser. It's my problem. Lady, at this point, I am totally convinced that you yourself are not sober. Um, I'm not saying you're on drugs, but you might have gotten into the uh, sherry just a little too much tonight. Because, holy crap, you are severely unhinged. It's not my problem, you're weak. Says the lady who emails bullying and harassment emails almost on a daily basis to somebody they don't know because they're clearly and obviously jealous of them. I mean, after all, a villain is thinner than you. A villain wears makeup. 
Villain is way more beautiful than you. Villain has a way better personality than you could ever dream of having. And Villain has an actual loving and beating heart that is not black, but actually red. Villain has friends who love and care about her. Villain has a family who loves and cares about her. Villain's children actually want to speak with her and have something to do with her. And when her children have children, I'm pretty sure Villain will know their, her grandchildren's first names. So to me, this sounds more like you are just 100% jealous of Villain. Okay. So be careful. Just be careful. Uh, uh, uh. We've already been in contact with your local PD and they have record and footage of you threatening to unalive us. And now you're threatening us more? This is not going to end up good for you. For us, nothing. For you, this is going to end up being very, very bad. Be careful. Like, are you planning to stare at me to death? Like, this is creepy. This woman is so creepy. Just be careful. Understand that? That's all I'm going to say. Just leave me alone. Aw. So this is how she wants it. She wants us to stop covering her so that people all over the internet will not see who she is and how vile of a person she is. While at the same time, she continues to bully and harass us. Um, yeah. Sorry, lady. You want to continue to bully and harass us. I'm going to continue to cover you so that people can see who you are. And I really hope that people in your town see these videos so that they can see who you are. Although I have a feeling that everyone you've ever come in contact with knows what a vile piece of poo you actually are. Any more comments? I don't know. Is that a question for yourself or for me? Because you're the one who already said, and that's all I'm going to say about this three or four times now, and you're still running your mouth. And I will take legal action. And that's all I'm going to say. I promise you that. I've already started. I'd love to know how you've already started when it only been like 30 minutes since my video went out after yours and your local PD had already been called. So, I mean, do you have an imaginary attorney now too? Holy crap, lady, you really need to seek some mental help. All these imaginary people in your life, that is not healthy. So I suggest you stop bullying Natasha. Because Natasha is a very good Canadian citizen. Well, see, if I mean, if we want to go this route, then here's the thing. You stop bullying and harassing Villain and Reaper. Because the harassment and the bullying is one-sided here. And it's coming from you, not us. See, we have a thing here called the First Amendment. We have the right to free speech. Now, I'm making my videos in my country of America. I have the right to take your videos of you being racist and vile and covering you so that all of social media can see who you truly are. However, I don't care what damn country you're from, you do not have a right to make a video at threaten to unalive villain and myself. See, see where the difference is here? And then you stalking and bullying and harassing me all over TikTok, doing the same thing to villain, even though we've blocked you. Uh huh. And then at the same time, you spend an entire month sending bullying, harassing, and threatening emails to villain. You, do you see where I'm going with this? I don't think you do. That's the problem. And then after you make this video, 
saying all this to us, you turn around and send Villain two more harassing emails. You're not that bright. I'm not on welfare like you. I pay my taxes. I own my own business. I have a wonderful boyfriend. And I, for some reason or the other, you think it's fake. And that just shows how jealous you are. That just, just shows how jealous you are, how pathetic you are. The fact that he's left me his assets shows how jealous you are. You mean now his, he's left you the two houses, right? Um, it, the two houses in which he doesn't want you living in with him, right? Because that makes so much sense. You've had a relationship with this man for 20 years, yet he doesn't want you living with him. So he leaves you living in rent-controlled, tiny, teeny little tiny one-bedroom apartment all by yourself. Hmm. Yet yeah, we're the ones who are alone. I, I really don't care about your boyfriend. I don't care. None of us do. None of us even knew you had a boyfriend or gave a shit about you having a boyfriend. You are the one who the very first time I had an interaction with you, the very first thing you said to me was, I have this wonderful boyfriend who worships the ground that I walk on. Um, and, like, we give a crap, lady. We don't care. I mean, how do you not understand that simple statement? We do not care. But it seems like the more people I speak to, because I spoke to quite a few people yesterday who have been harassed by you, and it seems to be the same thing. The first thing you've said to anybody and you continuously say to everybody is, I have a wonderful boyfriend who worships the ground that I walk on. Anybody who has to continuously say this is trying to convince themselves that they have a wonderful boyfriend who, who worships the ground that they walk on. Anybody who has to continuously say that you're going to be well off once this wonderful boyfriend expires is only trying to convince themselves. Okay. And why is it he's only taking care of you after he becomes worm food? Like, why isn't he taking care of you now then? Why is it he has to, you have to wait until he expires? Like, <laughs> you are the one bringing all this up. You, this is the only thing you talk about. Nobody gives a shit, lady. So, just calm down. Um, it just proves the point that I've been making for all these years that people that take drugs take it because they lack dopamine and they lack dopamine because they're fucked in the head. They don't have, they have no capacity for love. So even if they get clean, they're still psychopaths and I mean, and abusive people. Okay. So if you've never done drugs, then clearly you were born with zero dopamine if that's how we're going to go with this here and who are you telling to calm down i mean did you forget about how you were last night i mean just an hour before you remade your whole video and did this one like do you remember how you were because the only one that needs to calm down is you i i this is what i don't understand why are people so damn delusional? Like they live in this false reality within their own head and they throw us into it when we don't even want to be into it. But you forced us into it. And now you just won't go the fuck away. So, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Not a problem. That means you need to leave me alone and you need to leave villain alone. But we all know that's just not gonna happen, do you? You're not you're not gonna stop. You're just you'll probably send her four more emails tomorrow. That's how psycho you are. Or are you just in love with villain? I I figured it out. Villain, she has been emailing you every day for a month. 
because she's secretly in love with you. <laughs> I mean, it's the only excl exclamation for this. I mean, you are down to a T. The poster woman for who she is super jealous of. And she just can't stay away from you. And she has to keep herself in your life by constantly emailing. Who knows? Abuse may actually be her only way of saying, I love you. Because I'm a very, very good Canadian citizen. Yeah, no, you're not even a good human being. But I love the fact that the title of my video on you has triggered you to the point where you have to keep saying, I am a very good Canadian citizen. Like I said, when you have to keep repeating it, you're only trying to convince yourself of that because the rest of social media can see that you're a vile human being. And I know that I am because I've worked here for 30 years, more than 30 years actually. And my situation with my daughter is none of your business, but I pay child support, which is much more than many people can say. Um, <laughs> okay, so your situation with your daughter really is nobody's business. You're absolutely right about that. However, you are the one who made a video, okay, an eight and a half minute video on TikTok going on and on and on about how evil your daughter and her husband is because they won't let you see your grandsons. You don't even know the name of one of your grandsons. You never met your son-in-law. How evil they are. How you wish harm on them. How you wish poverty on them. How much you hate both your daughter and your son-in-law. And again, lady, I have this video. So if you don't remember saying this because you might be suffering from some form of dementia, then by all means, I'm happy to show it to you again. Or you can just go watch my last video or the video before that because it's in there and I know you're watching my videos. So if it's none of anybody's business, why are you blurting every aspect of your life onto the internet and then turning around and saying, it's nobody's business? Then don't put it out there. If it's not our business, don't put it out there. And how in the hell are you paying child support on an adult woman? Okay. And I did look it up. Child support stops around 18, 19 years old in Canada. It's not like you have to pay child support for the child's entire lifespan. So who exactly are you paying child support to? Not your daughter. Seriously, you are the one who told us all about your estranged relationship with your daughter mainly because of, well, you and your behavior and the way you act, like just everything about you. I don't blame her for wanting nothing to do with you because guess what? Neither does the rest of the internet. I pay child support to a child, okay? To my own child, I pay child support and a lot of other things. I did whatever I, I did I did what it took. It had nothing to do with being a bad mother. It had to do with the fact that I was in an abusive relationship. And I'm not even going to justify that. Awesome. Because I'm not asking you to justify it. Because I don't give two shits about your life. The problem is, you're the one that forced your problems in your life onto the rest of us. So that's how we know what's going on. And being in an abusive relationship... If the other person was the abuser is not going to cause your daughter to cut off complete ties with you to the point where you don't even know your grandson's name because she won't tell you. She doesn't want you to know. Like you are just one of those people that has to play the fucking victim and, and at, at every turn when you are the one who created victims. Because you people are evil, you people are cruel. And I am a fantastic Canadian citizen. I would love you to prove me otherwise. 
Oh, lady, I already have. I've already proven that you are a disgusting, vile human being. And since you are a Canadian citizen, well, that's why I titled it One of Canada's Worst Citizens. See, that's the thing. It had nothing to do with whether you pay taxes or whether you clean your yard. Oh, wait, you don't have a yard. You live in a one-bedroom apartment. Okay. Uh, whether you pay your taxes or whether you pay your rent or whether you violate, I don't know, anything, like whatever a citizen would do. That's not what it has anything to do with, lady. You clearly don't understand or comprehend reading. That's the whole thing. She's so triggered by my title of my first video on her. That's what she's focusing on. I, I really don't care what kind of citizen you are. The point of it was you are a Canadian citizen and you are extremely vile. Next time, I'll just put one of the most vile humans on earth. How's that? Because you can't. You can't. You can't. And the police called me. They can't do any. They can't. They know who that I'm a good person. So. Oh, so. <laughs> So the police did call you. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. So what they do, call you and say, I heard and actually saw with my own eyes a video of you threatening to unalive to other women because you became butthurt over the internet. Oh my God. And then they ended it with, but it's okay. You're a good citizen. No, they probably told you to shut the F up and stop making threats over the internet. And you're still doing it. So, uh, yeah. They'll be getting another call. It's okay. It's okay. Eventually, you're going to learn. You're going to learn you can't do stuff like that. It, it'll be the hard way, but eventually you'll learn. And they advised me what to do. They were very kind to me, actually. Yeah, they advised you to stop going online and threatening to unalive people or just threatening people altogether. And what did you do? The minute you got off the phone with them, you made this video. You're really stupid. So, leave me alone. You're obviously jealous of my good looks. You're obviously jealous of my boyfriend. And you're obviously jealous of the fact that I have money. No, you have two trust funds and <laughs> you have $500,000 after your imaginary book, All Boyfriend Perishes. So technically, you don't have money. Somebody else is financially taking care of you by putting trust funds up for you because they clearly didn't trust you enough to have the money all at once. So they had to do a trust fund so that you get little bit by you know, over time and <laughs> and well you don't get the other money until he perishes so yeah I, I still don't understand why you think anybody in this world would be jealous of you so leave me alone and I'm a very good Canadian citizen and I'll point that out because I want to protect my reputation not that I really have to because I've got clients that love and adore me and besides that I'm not young anymore I'm not 20 so I don't have to worry about having a career well um clearly you do or you wouldn't have a job and your wealthy imaginary blow-up doll boyfriend would be financially taking care of you instead of you having to work a job with the severe arthritis you've already said you supposedly have. I mean, and clearly you, there, you don't have a big trust fund that you're living with or you wouldn't even need to work. Who cares? Seriously, who cares? Why does it everything have to be based around money and a man with you? Are you one of those people that don't feel like you have worth unless you have a man in your life? Like, is that what it is? You're, you're that insecure as a woman that you need to have money and a man to have worth in this lifetime. If, if 
That's what it sounds like to me. In, in that case, I feel really, really bad for you. So, um, you know, the couple of clients that I do have, that's all I need. So you only have a couple of clients. Yeah, that's not surprising either. I'm pretty sure anybody that you have worked for has fired you, except for a couple people who are probably deaf. And do your clients know that you record the inside of their houses and upload it onto TikTok? Like, that's not real bright, Natasha. I mean, you are, if they get robbed, that's going to be your fault. I mean, you are posting the insides of these people's homes and putting it up on the internet. Not a good idea, and I'm pretty sure your clients would not appreciate that very much, especially when you're showing all of their family photos on the walls. That's all I need. I don't need the whole world to love me, so makes no difference to me. Your actions speak way louder than your words. Okay. Makes no difference to me. People are in bums, on welfare, you ex-addicts, you've got something wrong with your brain. I got it. I figured it out finally. And I think somebody in my comment section on the last video actually figured it out for me. And I want to thank them for this. She hates people on welfare because she was denied welfare so many times. Clearly. I mean, I've never seen anybody hate people on welfare as much as this lady. So clearly she's been denied welfare and she has to work and she hates everybody on welfare. She also seems to seriously dislike people who are not pure white. Lady, you are a sad excuse for a human being. You're sick. You're, you're sick. You're sick. You understand that? You're not capable of any... You're not human. You must understand that, that you're not human. You're not capable of any human... I mean, that's why somebody, one of you creators said to me, I don't have any need to have a boyfriend. Well, of course not. Yeah, that was villain. Because villain is woman enough not to have to depend on a man. For any reason whatsoever. I don't need to depend on a man either. As a matter of fact, I am financially fine on my own. You, on the other hand, you seem to need a man and money. So basically, that would make you Charlie's welfare case. I feel sorry for Charlie, really. Again, does he even know that you guys are dating? Because you don't know how to love. You can't love. You're a psychopath. You understand that? You're all psychopaths. Says the sociopath who can't seem to, I don't know, have enough self love for herself that she gets butt hurt easily on the internet. And that's all I'm going to say. Are you sure about that? Are you 100% positive that this is all you're going to say this time? I don't believe you. So I'm warning you now. I will come after you legally. I promise you that. Okay, so here is one of the first emails that I was able to get. Um, I'm sure that Dylan will have no problem sharing more videos or uh, emails with me. Uh, but this first one reads, yeah, and this is again from Natasha to Villain. Yeah, I'm a bit damaged, I do admit. I have had a very hard life, but I am proud that in spite of my hardships, I never took to any drugs. You strike me as someone, as someone who is very spoiled, yet you still took drugs. That is why you are very weak. I have a wonderful boyfriend who worships the ground I walk on, and we are very happy and very much in love. He owns two homes, both of which he is leaving to me, lock, stock, and barrel. Your money from your ex-husband is water and meaningless. You will land up on welfare, with welfare, pension, sleeping in a sewer like you deserve. You have no future. No one loves you. I am very much loved and taken care of with property. 
plus all those drugs you took, plus the vaxes you liberal rubberish people took, will give you, uh, will give you a very painful death. Ha 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 ha. Like, this is what she has been emailing villain for a month. Stuff like this. Like, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, and here we go with email number two. By Natasha to villain. Also, people who have taken drugs, even if they get clean, do so because they lack dopamine. They are incapable of love. They are sociopaths. Oh, sorry. Psychopaths. She's the sociopath. Not villain. Natasha. That is why you're single and alone and you will die alone in a ditch because, spelt K-U-S, that is where all you druggies and ex-druggies belong. I coped with my trauma. I was raised in Africa, so life was hard, not like you pussy Americans, using my superior intellect to cope and not on drugs. Because, spelt K-U-S again, I have a Mensa IQ and I belong to Mensa. I am also a pure white Northern European descent with not a drop of color in me, unlike you Jews who are colored. That is why I have class and wouldn't dare to wear trash like you do. I have higher standards. Okay. She neither has class or standards whatsoever. Like, her standards are so far in the dirt. They were left behind in Africa when she left. This woman, oh my God. So again, there we go with Natasha from Canada. <laughs> She's exhausting. Again, we didn't even know who she was. She just started coming at us with all of this racism and hatred and, and all this other bull crap. We have ignored her, like steady ignored her for months. And even with her emailing villain all these emails over the last 30 days, Villain has still left her alone. We only decided now it's time to finally let the world know who this lady is and what kind of person she is. Because it's not just us that she's doing this to. There's several other people. Like, there's a really awesome creator on TikTok named Jay. He's so sweet. He's such a kind person. I adore the crap out of him. And she's even going after him. And he, guess what? He's not of white color. So she's going at him hard. All kinds of racism. But yet, according to her, she's not racist. Like, I could care less if you lived in Africa. Clearly, she lived in, in, in Southern Africa, where life is pretty good for white people there. So, yeah, I don't believe for one minute she lived a hard life. You know, maybe she did. Who knows? I don't care. I don't care where she grew up, how she grew up. I don't care how she lives now. I don't give a crap if her boyfriend's real or blow up. The problem is she keeps throwing this in our like face like we do care. And it's like, leave us alone. We have been saying this for months. Leave us alone. And she just won't. And since, well, her local PD was finally called. Now she wants to tell us to leave her alone. And then turn right around after she speaks to the local PD because they contacted her about her behavior she sends her those two emails. So you can't really sit there and tell other people, leave me alone, leave me alone, and then turn around and continue to send hateful, harassing, abusive, bullying emails back to back to back to back. Like, you just cannot do that. I'm sorry, it's not possible. And if you want, like I said, you want to take us to court, lady, please try. Try. We have so much against you right now that it wouldn't even make it to court. Okay, the judge would laugh the entire case out. I, I don't understand what's wrong with her. Clearly, she has severe mental issues and she needs to seek mental help. She is a clear and present danger to all citizens around her. It's just... <laughs> it makes me laugh that She's so triggered by the title that I made on her first video that she focused so much. I mean, if she wants to take us to court because I called her one of Canada's worst citizens, then by all means, good luck with that. But yeah, we will be contacting her local PD again over this because she's threatening us again. Um, 
I'm pretty sure they told her to stop doing this, and she still did it. I just don't understand some people. And sometimes people have to learn the hard way, like Natasha's going to have to learn, to stop messing with people, whether it's online or in her real life. You don't do this to people. And if you're going to be racist, do it in your own home. Don't put it on the Internet. Don't let everybody know what a vile human being you are. And please, Natasha, I'm asking this from you. Can you stop being a daft twat? That's all I'm asking. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Be safe. Bye.